and welcome to the Humidor Report. Justin here from Southeast Texas's very own Cigar Club. I'd like to start off today by sending a, a big thanks uh, to Father Sinclair Ubre and the crew at the Port Arthur Seafarer Center for having us over to do their quarterly cigar dinner this past Friday night. I had a wonderful time over there with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, met a lot of new faces and a lot of guys that I'm looking forward to seeing here in our store here in the days to come. But again, a big thanks to Father Sinclair and to everybody there at the Seafarer Center for having us last Friday night. What a wonderful time. If you haven't been to one of these great events yet, please look it up online. Again, it is the Port Arthur Seafarer Center. Uh, they do these events quarterly, so I believe the next one will be taking place after the first of the year. But do keep your eyes on that. Follow those events, and hopefully we'll be back over there partying, smoking down, and having a good time with those guys again here very soon. Now, for today's episode of the Humidor Report, we're going to cast light on something new. It's exciting to get new things, and I haven't had a whole lot of, like, really, really new stuff. Had some new stuff to us lately, but I think we've been getting a little light on the brand new product the further we've gotten away from this year's IPCPR trade show, or now the PCA, as it is called instead of IPCPR. Uh, but we do have a late-breaking new release for the year that just made its way here. And it's kind of interesting looking at the blog sites, even as far, even as recently as say five to six weeks ago, there still wasn't a whole lot of information on this cigar. Uh, but it is now out, it is making its way to shelves finally, and we're going to throw a little light today on the brand new Jaime Garcia Limited Edition. Now it's uh, hard to believe that the Jaime Garcia line has been around now for 10 years, but indeed it has. Not only has it been around for 10 years, but this special edition that we have here in front of us is celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Jaime Garcia uh, Reserva Especial, I believe is the typical name of their blend. Well, this is the Reserva Especial 10th anniversary. Uh, as of a few weeks ago, all that was really known about it was it was supposed to be in 16 count boxes, which is true. Uh, it was supposed to start, start shipping sometime after, just after November 1st. Obviously that bit was true too. Uh, the one thing I saw was we did not know exactly how much it was going to cost. It was estimated that it was going to be a $20, or $20 or more cigar. And they were close. It came out with an MSRP of $19. So $18.99 is what they came out at. A little cheaper than expected, but not by a large margin. Uh, and the quantities are correct. They've only produced 2,500 of these 16 count boxes. So we got the number right. Uh, we got the quantity of boxes correct. I think the only thing that they were missing on was exactly what the MSRP on it was going to be. Uh, but it is limited. Obviously, these boxes are absolutely gorgeous. I like the fact they use a big, big, thick chunk of cedar around the edges. That makes it really more of a display box. Uh, but it's actually it's such a, a really beautiful packaging, the way they've got all the cigars kind of double stacked in there. So you've got uh, eight stacks of two as you make your way through the box there and uh we did get i believe five total boxes is what we've got we've actually already moved through quite a bit since it's been here almost a week now but finally giving us a chance to show you guys what it is and what's up with it but there are plenty more to be had uh, currently and i believe that there are still production availabilities out there from the manufacturer as well so we can probably get some more uh, if these things move out quickly but again being with a limited production of only 2500 boxes they're not going to last uh, so if you're interested in checking this out uh, do so while you can it is a slight variation on the original Jaime Garcia uh, they say it's based on the original blend which is meaning that we've got a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper over Nicaraguan fillers and Nicaraguan binder uh, but they did add to this limited edition there is um, some Pelo de Or tobacco that they've added to this blend as well that's being grown on the Garcia family farms. So this is a slightly tweaked version of that original Jaime. Uh, I haven't had a chance to light one up yet, but I'm very curious to see what the addition of that Pelo de Or tobacco is actually going to do to this blend. Uh, but definitely one if you want to check it out or put a few away before they're said, done, and gone, make sure you do that while you can. Now, something that's not necessarily new, but also for My Father, back on the shelves here are our five count My Father samplers. Uh, moving towards Christmas, we're getting close and it'd be a good time if you want to start getting that early Christmas shopping done. This is a hard thing to miss on if you've got a cigar smoker that you're shopping for. Uh, it's less than 40 bucks. You get five cigars, you get a lighter, you get a cutter, and it does come in a beautiful box that makes it easy to wrap, stick a bow on. It's great for under the tree. And depending on how big your stockings are, that might even be a pretty decent little stocking stuffer there for you as well. 
Uh, that's a great gift there for under $40 from my father. Uh, if you really want the big nice gift for this year, we do still have some sealed boxes of this available. And remember, there are only 2,500 boxes made. So either way, we got great things for your father from my father for this Christmas if you want to come in and do your shopping now. Now, next week, we should be back with another episode. I'm not sure how it's going to work with the Thanksgiving holiday, but just in case we are not back next week, I want to go ahead now and wish everybody a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back, and we'll be here to have one last humidor report in before everybody runs away for turkey and dressing, but should we not, I want to take the opportunity now to thank everybody for supporting us here at Cigar Club Southeast Texas for our first seven months in business now, and we hope you guys have a fantastic and safe Thanksgiving with your families. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for this week's edition of the Humidor Report. Remember to slip on over to YouTube if you're watching this on Facebook. Jump over to YouTube and check out the Humidor Report is the name of our channel. Uh, give us some likes. Give us some subscribes over there. Throw us some love. We really appreciate that. Uh, but also keep bashing that like button here on Facebook too because uh, that helps us out and helps more people see what we've got going on here in the Humidor here at Cigar Club Southeast Texas. So again, that'll wrap it up for this week. We'll be back hopefully uh, next Wednesday at 3 p.m. And until that time, I'm Justin, and we'll see you at the club.